Welcome back everyone. In our previous lecture, we explored how once we are connected to a network, it's practically game over. By leveraging techniques like ARP spoofing, we have been able to redirect the flow of network packets, effectively making ourselves the man in the middle. This allows us to spy on users, steal their credentials, and even redirect them to malicious websites. What you have seen so far is just the beginning of what you can do when you are in the position. In this video, we are going to take it up a notch. I am going to show you another powerful method to become the man in the middle without needing to exploit ARP or any other protocols. And guess what? Once you are the man in the middle, you can execute all the attacks you have learned so far and many more that you can explore in the future. Let's start by reviewing something basic. Remember the diagram we discussed earlier when we were learning about how networks work. The access point or the router is the only device with direct access to the internet. Clients like your phone or laptop send requests to this access point which then forwards those requests to the internet, retrieves the responses and send them back to the clients. But what if we as the hackers replace this access point with our computer? In other words, what if we create a fake Wi-Fi network that provides real internet access? When people connect to our network, we automatically become the man in the middle because we are now acting as their router. We won't need to exploit any protocols or run complicated attacks. People will willingly send us their data because they think they are connected to a legitimate network. This is where things get really interesting. By creating our own Wi-Fi networks, clients who connect to it will automatically send all their requests to us. And since we are the router, we can see everything they do. We will forward their request to the internet and send back responses, just like a real access point. But in the process, we will be able to intercept, sniff, and manipulate the traffic however we like once the client are connected. We can launch all of the man in the middle attacks we have demonstrated earlier without needing to run ARP spoofing or anything fancy. All you need is computer running Kali Linux internet access and a wireless interface capable of broadcasting the Wi-Fi signal. Now let's break down what you will need. Internet connection. This could be through a Wi-Fi, Ethernet, a 3G, 4G dongle or even a virtual interface. Wi-Fi interface, not just any Wi-Fi adapter will work. It needs to be capable of running in access point mode. Once you have set up the necessary hardware, we will be able to start broadcasting our fake network. With this setup, our computer will act like a router. Clients who connect to the network will send all their traffic to us by default. So we won't need to worry about ARP spoofing. We are automatically the man in the middle. From there, you can run all the attacks we have covered previously or any other man in the middle attacks techniques. Like sniffing passwords, injecting malicious code or redirecting user to a phishing site. Now, you could configure all of this manually. For example, you could set up the wireless interface to broadcast the signal, configure routing between interfaces and ensure that traffic is forwarded properly. However, since this is the ethical hacking course, I want to show you a faster and more straightforward way to achieving the small result. The tool we will use is called the MANA toolkit. This is a powerful suite of tools that allow us to automatically create a fake access point, sniff traffic and even bypass HTTPS in some cases. It has three main scripts to choose from. Start no upstream.sh This create a fake access point without internet access, which is not very useful for our purposes. Start net simple.sh This sets up a fake access point with internet access. Next, start net pool assets. This also provides internet access but tries to automatically sniff traffic, which often fails. I recommend starting with not simple and then launching another terminal to run better gap for sniffing data and bypassing HTTPS as we have shown in previous videos. Once our fake access point is live, clients will connect thinking they are accessing the internet. In reality, their traffic is flowing through our machine. We will use tools like better gap and wireshark to analyze and manipulate the data. We can capture usernames, passwords, session tokens and much more. 
This method of creating a fake access point is a powerful way to become the man in the middle and earn a variety of attacks. It eliminates the need to exploit IRB protocols or other vulnerabilities. Clients will willingly send us their data.